Well, I got to this Vegas trade show and, uh, and the entire floor of organics and was like really granola and very like everything was vanilla looking and it was just very like homegrown knitted socks and all kinds of like and then upstairs at the trade show were all these beautiful clean white brands that were like crushing it and everybody wanted to be upstairs and I was you know kind of moving through this trade show for five or six days and it was really slow especially on the natural and organics department and uh but I I learned to knit from this lady next to me you know, it was also a real slow show for her. And so we sat there and knitted when nobody was walking the show. And and on the last day, someone walked up to me as we were like breaking down the booths and everything. And they said, wow, you've gotten really close to Roxanne Quimby. And I didn't know that she was Roxanne Quimby. And then they were like, well, you know, the the she's the founder of Burt's Bees. Immediately marched right over there. And I'm like, how did how did you knit with me for five days and not tell me? You were the founder of Burt's Bees, who, of course, later sold a, earlier sold a Clorox. And she was a happy green bee making her little knitted socks and and uh, enjoying the conversation from, from me. And she said, well, Holly, I really just wanted to hear about your vision and your brand without you knowing who I was. But I love what you're doing and I want to help you. How can I help? And I said, I need a PR firm. I can't get anybody's attention in New York to save my life because I need to launch in Sephora. They're interested. And I, you know, it's, it's just really hard for me in Dallas to to have the interest of a big beauty PR firm when I was still a pretty small brand. I mean, on the way to the airport in Vegas that day, I get a call from Nancy Berman, who was um, a Berman PR, the biggest beauty PR firm in New York. She said, I just got off the phone with Roxanne Quimby. I launched Birch Bees. And she said that I really need to spend some time with you. I'd like to come to Texas. You've got to put yourself out there and be the places. If I hadn't been in that natural and organics and realized that instead of beating yourself up for like, that was not the right place I should have been. I should have been upstairs with all the beautiful white brands. Um, you know, I would have never met Roxanne. Hey, Founder Fam, we hope that you loved that clip. If you did, you can click through right here to watch the full interview. You don't want to miss this one. See you there.